Oh, the first example. In this example, we have an aluminum bar is bonded to a steel bar to form a composite beam, as shown here. Okay, as shown here. <coughs> oh, the sizes have been given, and their e modulus elasticity has been given. Though so we're requested to find the distance to the centroid of the transformed section from bottom surface of the beam to find the moment of inertia. Okay, um, so we are transforming it into monomaterial sections. Uh, as we mentioned in the theory part, we have two options. Right? We can transform steel into aluminum or transform aluminum into steel. Okay, we will try these two uh, cases. We'll try these two cases. <coughs> Okay, in the first case, we will, we will transform steel into aluminum. In the second case, we will transform aluminum into steel. Okay, if we transform, uh, if we transform uh, it, if we transform steel into aluminum, uh, then we will get this one, right? Since the if you transform steel into aluminum, the N will be aluminum will be the base, and the steel will be the material that to be transformed. Right, so this will be larger than one. Right, so the steel parts will become wider. Okay, the size of aluminum will keep unchanged. So you get this this one. But in the case two, if we transform uh, aluminum into steel, so the steel will be the base, right? So the N will be steel, and above the line will be aluminum, right? This will be smaller than one. So the uh, steel will be unchanged from here to here, but the aluminum will become narrower, right? So these are the uh, philosophies, right? <laughs> the uh, theory parts. Then let's look at the case one first. Okay, in case one, steel into aluminum. Okay, as we just mentioned, the N will be E steel over E aluminum. It will be. 31,200 over 7,000. This will be 4.457. Okay, then the length, the width, the width of uh, uh, of steel will be changed. Right, so the length, the, the, the width of steel when it's transformed into aluminum will become n times b. This will be 4.457 times 1.5 here. Then it will become 6.96 inch here. Okay. So after that, we just get this T-shaped section then we can uh, just use our two equations and two tables to find out the y bar and i. Right. So first of all, y bar equals a i y i over some a i. Right, the table, and we have just two sub areas, one and two. Right, let's see, this is one, this is two. Right. Then cut it in the middle, divide it into two sub areas. Then the AI, the A1 will be 6.69 times 0 0.5. Right. The height will not be changed, while we only change the width of the different sections. Right. So this will be. 3.345 and A2 will be 1.5 times 0 0.5, 0 0.75. Right. 
right? And the yi, yi, so y1 will be what? y1 will be from the bottom to here. This is the local centroid, right? This will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 over 2, right? 0 0.75. And y2, what to the local centroid, will be just 0 0.25. Right. So a i y i can be easily calculated. Here you get uh, 2.51, and here you have 0 0.19. Calculate the sum here for the a i. Sum is 4.1. Here you have a i y i sum will be 2.7. Okay, so just uh, this one over this one here, you get 2.7 over 4.1, right? 0.658 inch. Okay, so this is the local centroid. <laughs> and the I, what's the equation? Sum of I C I plus A I di square, right, the equation, area one, area two, and the ai have been there, we just copy them here, 3.345, 0 0.75, and the di equals what? yi minus y bar, absolute value. Right, so for the D, D1 would be uh, 0 0.75 minus 0 0.658. Right, so that is 0 0.092. And the D2 would be 0 0.25 minus 0 0.658 uh, absolute value. It will be 0 0.4. Oh, 08 and ICI equals what? Equals just a BH cube over 12 and for area 1 that will be B will be 6.69 times 0 0.5 cube over 12 right? that is 0 0.07 for the second area the aluminum part the the original aluminum part as uh, subsection two will be one point five times zero point five cube over twelve. That is zero point zero one five six. Okay. Then it says here we can calculate it. Uh, the first one would be. 0 0.07 plus uh, 3.345 times 0 0.092 square plus here 0 0.0156 plus 0 0.75 times 0 0.408 square. So the result will be 0 0.2385 inch to the fourth. Okay, this is the case one where we uh, transform the steel into aluminum. Then let's see what will happen if we transform aluminum into steel. Of course, in this case, the uh, steel part will not be changed, but the aluminum width will become smaller, right? since the steel has a much larger modulus elasticity than aluminum. Right? But in this case, when we calculate n, when we calculate n, the base will be steel. Right? So E steel 
above it will be E aluminum. So it will be 7,000 over 31,200. This N value will be smaller than 1. That would be 0 0.224. And the width, uh, aluminum into steel, so will be reduced from 1.5, uh, right? So this will become 0 0.224 times 1.5. You get 0 0.337 inch. So you can see that from 0 point, uh, from 1.5 to a narrower size, 0 0.337. Okay, so this is how we transform the section. Uh, from aluminum to steel and make it a mono material steel T-shaped cross section. Okay, then the rest will be uh, we will, we will repeat the process. Uh, so the Y bar calculate Y bar Y bar is again some A I Y I over some A I and from the table have area one, area two, <laughs> AI, YI, AI, YI. And the A1 this time will be the steel 1.5 times 0 0.5, 0 0.75. And uh, A, A2, I'll cut it from here. This is a one, this is a two. The smaller one will be uh, 0 0.337 times 0 0.5. You got a small area that is 0 0.1685. Okay. The yi, yi will be the same as um, case 1, right? 0 0.75 and 0 0.25. The products AI, YI can be calculated easily, 0 0.5625 and uh, 0 0.0. 421. Okay, then we can sum them. The sum of AI would be 0 0.9185, and AIYI sum will be 0 0.6046. Okay, and here we got these two numbers 0 0.6046 over. 0 0.9185 will get 0 0.658 inch. Okay? You can see that the Y bar is the same as here. Okay? The Y bar will be the same. Meaning that no matter how you transform the section, the location of the uh, centroid from the bottom or from the top will not be changed. Okay, then the I moment of inertia can be uh, calculated using this equation, ICI plus AIDI square. Okay, table one, two, and AI can be copied di, okay, di is a yi minus y bar, and the d1 <coughs> will be 0 0.092, and the second one would be 0 0.408, okay, the same, exactly the same, right? Then the I C I for the first one it will be zero point zero one five six, second one zero point zero zero three five one. Okay. You can just uh, check my results. Okay, do your own calculation and check my result. Okay, so after that we can uh, calculate both of them. You can also do your own calculations. So the first one would be uh, zero point zero two one nine 
plus 0 0.00351. Okay. Oh. Here is the 0 0.00316. Um, 0 so the result will be 0 0.0535 inch to the fourth. Okay, you can see that the I values is different. Okay, I values is different from that of uh, the case one because we have been transforming them into different materials. Into steel, uh, in, into, into aluminum, so you get a larger area, right? Much larger area, so the I value is much larger. Right? When you transform it into steel, the area, cross-section area, is smaller, so the I value is smaller. Okay, so we have uh, tried these two different cases, but this transformation is not the purpose. Right? Our purpose is to evaluate, to calculate the stresses in the bended beams. Right? So let's give a Let's give a bending moment. Okay, give a bending moment if we know that, um, if we know that the uh, m, give a m that is eighty eight point eight keeps feet. So let's calculate the uh, stress on top and the stress on bottom, okay? This is the extra question. So given a bending moment, let's calculate the stresses on top and on bottom, okay? Let's see what will happen, okay? If uh, we consider the case one, okay, in case one, aluminum, So we transformed everything into aluminum. This is the case one. Okay, in case one, the stress on top would be what? Would be M times Y or times C top. Okay, times C top over I. So this is 88.8 .8 keeps feet. So we will transform it into uh, pounds inch. Okay, times what? 12,000. Right. Okay, make sure you understand this. Okay, what is this? Okay, then times the C top. C top will be the y bar has been determined, right? So the y bar equals 0 0.658 inch. Okay, so uh, the distance C top equals 1 minus 0 0.658. Okay. Over the i, I we have determined that is 0 0.2385 uh, here, right? Inch to the fourth. And here we will get a result that is 1528,000 psi. And we can also calculate uh, the bottom. That will be M times C bottom over I. Again, this is 88.8 .8 times 12,000 times, and the C bottom here will be this Y bar, right? This is Y bar, that is 0 0.568 over 0 0.2385. And here we can get uh, 2940,000 PSI. Okay. 
Are these the final results? <laughs> Are these the final results? <coughs> Since the, the top is a fictitious section, right? The top is a fictitious section. The top should be steel, but we have transformed steel into aluminum. So we need to change it back. We need to convert it back to steel, right? So in this case one, the top is a fictitious situation, right? So the real stress on top will be n times the fictitious value, right? This uh, n is what? n is, uh, in case one, n is 4.457, right? 4.457 times 1528,000. This would be 6810,000 10, PSI. Then let's check case two. In case two, we converted everything into steel. Right, this is our case two. Okay, this is repeat the uh, calculations. The top on top that will be uh, m times c top over i. The, in this case, the, the, the C values will not be changed, it will be the same, right? So this will be 88.8 uh, .8 times 12,000 times 1 minus 0 0.658 over the I is 0 0.0535. Here we will get 68.12,000 PSI. And on the bottom, it will be M times C bottom over I. It will be 88.8, .8, 12,000 times the Y bar, 658 over 0 0.0535 and the result here is 13,106,000 PSI, okay? But in these two values, which one is fictitious? Okay, the bottom, right? The bottom should be steel, but we have transformed the steel into steel, uh, sh should be aluminum, but we have transform the aluminum into steel. So here is fictitious, right? So this one, bottom is fictitious. Okay, the real bottom stress should be N times bottom fictitious. The N in the second case is 0 0.224, right? 0 0.224 times 13,106,000. This will be 2936,000 PSI. So <coughs> we can see that, did we get the same results? Okay, from case one, from case one, our, uh, the final results, top on top of it, is 68.10 and in case two, 68.12, okay? This is the same result, right? So we, have, we had some errors during the calculation, right? And uh, for the bottom, 29.40, 29.36, okay? Again, this is the same, okay? If you didn't get the same result, meaning you have made some mistake or larger error in calculations.